Hey, so this is going to be part one of my new terrarium build and hopefully this is going to be a highland terrarium for my carnivorous plants. Um, I used to have a setup like this before but I had to take it down uh, before moving for university and everything. Uh, by now I'm back in the game so I want to get everything set up again. Uh, so this time I purchased uh, the largest knockdown terrarium that I could find. It's knocked down as in I could take it apart in case I need to move again. And this is a 48 inch by 24 by 24. Um, so it's quite large. And uh, I have it partially set up uh, for now. And let's take a closer look. So on the top, I have uh, this Mars Hydro light uh, that I have hanging on this wooden dowel. I 3D printed these like supports um, and they kind of just lock in to the side here. So I don't, I don't have everything screwed down as tight as it could be. So as you hear a bit of rattling right now. So it's still in the setup phases, but yeah, you can see the uh, it's kind of just hanging here. And the wooden dowel looks like it's buckling a little bit, but there is still a lot of give left to go. So I don't think it's going to break on me anytime soon. This thing isn't that heavy. Um, uh, I have inside, I guess, the egg crate light diffuser kind of set up for the first layer. Uh, there's a few PVC pipes to give it, I'll bring it a bit closer to the lights, give it some lift. And I'm going to set up like a second layer and a third layer and uh, I think some of it is back here so I'll put that in like the next part of the video when I get that in here uh, but yeah this is I guess you know how it is so far right now it's still a bit of a mess to have a lot of boxes and stuff that I need to clean up on the bottom there and I need to set up like a radiator and a chiller and everything um, I used to have all that before but I had to take it apart before moving and uh, also I need to get some plexiglass roof bits to cover up the top here um, and the, the lighting right now I think I have this on pretty low so like this is below 25% but if I pump it all the way up and let my camera adjust it can get very very bright in here so this is like it's even it's my camera's adjusted to it now but you know in real life it's even hard to look inside because it's so bright um, I do have I guess uh, some styrofoam padding. So this, this terrarium is actually lifted off the table so you could add, uh, I guess, heater pads or whatever for your turtle or, or snake or whatever that's supposed to go in here. But um, I have a, a bottom big styrofoam piece that fits right underneath uh, to give it some insulation. And I've also insulated the back and the other wall with uh, some styrofoam and some uh, aluminum. Uh, I'll probably keep these two sides open just because I want to like look at the plants as I'm walking past. Uh, since this is in my living room, the aesthetics of it it's kind of kind of important I want it to be all covered up and I can't see the plants but I'll see how it goes if it needs any additional insulation insulation to uh, keep it cool at night when I get the radiator chiller in going but yeah I guess this is part one for now I'll come back later when I get more set up I guess more stuff set up inside 